everybody this is Corrine it looks like Facebook is working today I'm happy to see that motion detected at the front door Hi, everybody. all right so let's get started I'm going to show you the projects from last night that um, I don't know what was going on with Facebook but it wasn't working so this is the card. I've already posted the cards on my page with the measurements. Um, so you should have all of that already. But I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to make them. So again, this is 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half. And my bone fold is right here. What a cold gloomy day it is today huh and then this is five and one eighth by four uh no i don't think that's right by uh three and seven eighths and then this is three and a quarter by five and then i have a little piece of scroll wrap paper here somewhere i wanted to show you how i did these flowers So basically what I did is I took my flower and I'm using the Melon Mambo because I want to make pink cards for the month of October to bring awareness to breast cancer. All of us know somebody that's either a survivor or has experienced it. So I'm going to stamp that right down here on my little scrap paper. And while it's still wet, I'm going to take my Rink of Stella and just push some of this color very quickly. And it gives you that variance right off the top, which is kind of cool, just pulling the colors in. So I would let that dry for a minute and then I would fussy cut it like you'll see right here. I've already done two of them. I had a time to save some time. So let me stamp my words on this card. Let me grab them right here. I am going to use my memento black so you can see they have a little bit of shimmer. I hope it shows on the camera. I think it does. Cool. All right, let's sync up the stamp. When I have a big stamp like this, I set the stamp down and tap dance my pad across the top of it. I'm going to stamp that right up here in the right hand corner. like that this is such a pretty set I absolutely love it I use it a lot then I'm going to take these twigs like again sticking in the monochrome fashion I'm going to stamp this three times one's right up here Once like here, and it's going to overlap in the center, and that's fine because I'm going to cover it with my flowers. And then another one here. So creating that odd number, kind of a triangle, your eyes just do better with that. You move that out of the way again. So now I'm ready to mat this onto here. I am going to use my Tombow. Looks a little dark here. Let me put... Oh, the light's not going to work. Okay. Okay. 
Make sure that's attached really well. Now there's probably enough on here. I'm just going to breathe on it and stamp right inside down on the corner. My breath will re-moisturize whatever little ink. So you can see it's a little bit muted, but I like to write my own personal greeting and I like it to be pretty. So let's put some pop-ups behind this to raise it up a little bit. Everybody doing good today? It is such a gloomy day today, isn't it? It's terrible. All right, so that's popped up so you can see it creates a little bit of definition, which is really nice. Now I'm gonna put these directly on. I did not use any pop-ups because I figured I already had some on the bottom. I'm gonna put a little bit of Tombow in the middle. I'm going to put this one down here a little bit. Hold it there for about 10 or 15 seconds. And then this one can go up a little and twist it. Overlapping just a tad. And then we're going to dress it up with some bling. Got to have bling, right? So let's put a few blings. And one more down here in the corner, I guess. Now I would like to stamp my envelope too. Let me grab a piece of scrap paper. And my pretty flower again. Actually, I think I just put one in the front, down in the corner. Changed my mind. Put one right down here. The only thing we have to worry about when we stamp our envelopes is that our ink is dye based, so it could run if it gets any moisture. So there's that card. Isn't that pretty? Simple but pretty. All right, so let's move on to card number two which is another one of my favorite, favorite stamp sets using the uh, Sunflower, Celebrate Sunflower, and uh, I used uh, the die that correspond to that. So it is a bungo, so if you purchase it, it is 10% cheaper. And again, staying with that beautiful pink tone which is Melon Mambo. In this one, I did do the envelope in the back. So this is your standard A2 card, which is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then I have a mat that is three and three quarters by five. I wanted it to be a little bit smaller. And since it's colored inside, I am going to put a white piece. We're going to stamp on that as well. And then I pre-cut out of our vellum uh, cardstock. And this is all in the post earlier today, all the products. So I'm just going to cut it right down the middle because it's going to look a little bit bigger on my... Thing, and then I have a piece of white. 
So let's start by doing some stamping. And this is a portrait size card. It's going up and down this way. I know I'm probably messing you guys all up coming in the afternoon on a Tuesday, but I just wanted you to see how these cards were made. Since I wasn't able to log in after multiple tries with Facebook, but I, I called Michael, my youngest son, he works in IT, and he, some website or whatever he went to, and he said, oh, Mom, it's a major issue. He said, it, the Internet is lighting up about it. It's awful how we have a love-hate relationship, isn't it, with technology? All right. One more. Isn't that pretty? And then I want to put one on my inside. Again, I want to have plenty of space to write a nice note. This is actually going to go to a lady that's having her 90th birthday. Actually, I think I'll turn it over. Do it again. I can't imagine turning 90 what she has seen in her lifetime. All right. I love Melon Mambo too. And it goes so well with so many colors. Highland Heather. Uh, soft suede, early espresso, gray granite, um, smoky slate. It's just beautiful. And another one that is very, very pretty with is Knight of Navy. All right, so let's do our words. Oops, and I went and shut the pads. My words are right here. It's a long one. This is our one inch scrap. I'm going to ink up my stamp. Just set it here and let the ink gravitate to the paper. Perfect. Oops, weird did I do with my punch? I'm telling you, I'm always missing something. This is the uh, Bano Pick Punch, which is in the holiday catalog. And I'm going to use this pointed one this time. So this is how I use it. I put whatever I stamp, it cuts off about a quarter of an inch. I put it in upside down. So I can make sure I'm not punching off my words. And then I'm going to put the other end in, again, upside down. You can cut a three, a half inch, three quarter inch, and a one inch with these. All right, so it's getting stuck. Let me see what's going on here. Huh. If I can bend in my cardstock, oh, to heck. Sometimes, where's my bone folder? Sometimes it helps to just try to roll it a little bit. See, I'm showing you all the challenges that I have and you would have as well. So, okay. See, sometimes just curling it a little bit. I don't know why, but it works. Okay, so I think we're ready to assemble our card. I see some of you are on here, are my Paper Pumpkin customers. I hope you've gotten it. It is absolutely amazing this month. Just beautiful. I will be back for out next week, actually, to do some Paper Pumpkin alternatives. It's already the end of the month. So I'm going to map this directly onto that Melon Mambo, tone on tone. It's 
called then I'm gonna put some pop-ups behind my banner I'm gonna put a couple of extras since I whooped it a little bit I know that's a lot of pop-ups for a little banner but since I whooped it I want to make sure it stays flat whoops looks like that one didn't come off okay so now I'm going to put this where I want it. And I want a lot of that top sunflower up there to show. So now I'm going to put that on. And then I'm going to take some glue dots. Vellum is tricky to play with, but the glue dots will hold it. And they don't show too bad. I'm just putting them on the center here. I'm going to slide that in under where the pop-ups are. And this is going to make my sunflower look like, give it the illusion that it's bigger than what it really is. And I noticed that my sunflower has a broken petal, but you know what? Flowers aren't perfect. So I don't waste it. I still use it. It's still beautiful. Now you will want to be careful when you put this in the uh, envelope that it doesn't get me uh, squished. If you wanted to, you could do this little trick that I do sometimes. I just need a tiny piece of scrap here. I just take a drop of glue And use a stylus. These rubber. There's one that you can switch out, but I don't have it right here. I just want to take a drop. Put it right here. Tiny drop. And just hold that there for a second. That will help it from getting caught when I put it in my envelope. Again, just a drop. And hold it. Now we need some blings on this to make it pretty, right? So I have some right here. Again, the pickup tool is wonderful. Let me put this away before I lose it. The pickup tool is absolutely wonderful for this. Again, I'm going to use three. And I put them in a little different space than I did my original one. Let's glue this inside. Again, Trombow. Practice makes perfect with the Trombow. I know I hear all the time people say, oh, you make it look so easy. It's just keep using it. I promise you it will get easier. There. So there's the envelope already done for you. So let me bring back in the other samples. And then I have a sneak peek of tomorrow night's class for you. There's the envelope for that one. It's hard to pick one that I like more than the other. I love both of them. So, a sneak peek of tomorrow night's class is right here. I'm going to do that leaf. Everybody keeps emailing me, how did you do the leaf? It is a gatefold, a different style. So, join me tomorrow night. Let's hope Facebook is cooperative. Our usual time at 7. I thank you so much for joining me on this fly this afternoon. I'm so glad we were able to get this done. So all the measurements were posted today, so you could just scroll back up 
and I see the posting of all the supplies and the measurements. So until tomorrow night, I hope you have a great afternoon. Take care, stay safe, and be kind to each other. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.